Do you want to know what are the goddess rituals that you should do every month during that time of the month? If you do, stay tuned and watch. This is Alexandra Villarroel Abrego and welcome back to Alexandra TV, where every Wednesday I share with you the best coaching strategies and techniques to create the life of your dreams and to become the best version of yourself. Now make sure of course you're subscribed to this channel because you don't want to miss the new episodes that come out every week and recently every single day because for the release of my book Beyond Beauty, I am posting a new video every day here on Alexandra TV, videos where I talk about all of the topics that I wrote about in my book. So you definitely want to tune in every day until March 14th, the date of the release of my book. Also, if you haven't pre-ordered Beyond Beauty yet, well, make sure you go do that now. You can find the link in the description down below this video, because if you pre-order Beyond Beauty before the release date, which is on March 14th, well, you will get two free programs that are of a value of $700, but for free, these two programs, one is called Full Feminine Power and the other one is called The Goddess Circle, will teach you again everything that I teach in this this book but more really in depth so you definitely want to go do that go in the description down below click on the link now in today's video I'm gonna share with you what are the different things that you can do during that time of the month during that phase of the month that will help you not only feel better physically so perhaps if you're feeling maybe cramps or you're not feeling too good during that time of the month it will help you alleviate that but also mentally and spiritually as I said in my last video there was a time where women of the same village of the same tribe would all bleed together and would all ovulate together every month when it was the new moon that's when all women of the same tribe of the same village would have their menstrual would have their period and what they would do is that they would all gather to a place that was called the red tent the moon lodge and in that place all women of the same tribe of the same village they would spend time together they would take care of themselves of, of each other also they would bleed on the floor basically so put their blood back into the the, the earth really so it was a, a way of connecting with mother earth it was also a time where women's intuition was at its highest peak so every month i'm pretty sure you have noticed how during your period you feel tired it's normal because physically where you're losing blood right but also they say that spiritually the reason why you are tired is because your spirit wants you to sleep more and therefore dream more and therefore have more premonitory dreams during that time of the month is the time of the month where you're intuition where your connection to the universe is at its highest peak so that's the point of the month where you can have dreams that could actually predict what is going to happen in the future it was really a sacred time in the villages so men and children they knew that all women would go and get together in the red tent in the moon lodge and they knew that when women would come back they would have sacred and important information as to let's say where to move the tribe or where to find the animals in order to have food so they really respected the knowledge the wisdom and the intuition of women there was actually a saying back then that was if you want to destroy a tribe if you want to destroy a village all you have to do is destroy the red tent all you have to do is destroy their moon lodge because without that place where women would gather and share wisdom together uh, the village and the people couldn't survive because they would rely on the powers of the feminine power of the feminine energy of intuition of all of that wouldn't it be a wonderful thing if these rituals still existed today imagine all of us ladies getting together every month in a place called the red tent or the moon lodge during our period to share our wisdom to talk about feminine energy to talk about feminine power imagine all of that how great that would be but of course in today's society there's unfortunately no place for that I still hope that one day these rituals will return and become mainstream if we can say it like that so what I want to do in today's video is I want to share with you three alternative ways three alternative rituals that you can use every month in order to connect to your moon cycle the first thing that you should do every month during that time of the month is to surround yourself with the color red the color red the color of blood so every month what I like to do on the first day of my period which is the first day of the new moon is I change everything around me to the color red so my sheets my bed sheets are changed to red my uh, towels I change them to red and I just try to surround myself with the color red my underwears are always going to be red during that time of the month I try to even wear red clothes so they say that a good way to connect with the sacred blood with your period is just by surrounding yourself with 
the color red. That is why back then it was called the red tent because in that tent, everything was red. The curtains, the, 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 the carpet, everything really around these women was in the color red, which is the color of the sacred blood. So make sure you do that every month. The second thing that you should do every month during that time of the month is to get away. What I mean by that is stay away from people. Don't be surrounded by a lot of people during that time of the month. It is not a good idea. You're going to notice how a few days before your period, you're very often very emotional. Um, perhaps you get angry for no apparent reason. You create conflict around you for no reason also. And you don't even understand why. The reason why that is happening is because your spirit is trying to tell you, I want some time with you by ourselves we need to spend some time together so if you don't take the initiative by yourself to say you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna stay away i'm gonna spend a few days with me you know by myself well what's gonna happen is that your spirit is gonna create these conflicts around you so it's gonna get emotional it's gonna get mad at people and all of a sudden you're gonna get in fights you're gonna get in in situations where you don't really want to get you're gonna say things that you don't really want to say to people that you love and it's not your fault it's simply because your body your spirit your mind is trying to tell you this is the time of the month where we, we should be together, where we should spend time together. You shouldn't be around a lot of people. So if you don't listen to that, well, it's going to create conflict around you. So make sure every month that you try to spend a few days by yourself, with yourself, you know, to reflect and everything. And the third thing that you should do every month is to let go. So the same way that your body is letting go of all the toxins through your blood, it is a time for you to reflect on what happened on the, in the last cycle, because now you're starting a new cycle. It's the beginning of the new moon. So what happened in the last cycle and what are the things that no longer serve you and that you no longer want to bring in with you in this new cycle so that's very important to do every single month now of course in my book beyond beauty i have a lot more of these tips on what you should do every month during that time of the month there's many things that you should do in the next video i want to share with you what are the rituals that you can do throughout the month so not not only during your period during that time of the month but at other times of the month so make sure of course you go pre-order beyond beauty as soon as possible if you want to get access to the two free courses that are a value of $700, but I'm giving for free to everyone who pre-orders Beyond Beauty. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think and let me know if you have your own rituals during that time of the month. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget, of course, to like this video, to share it with as many people as possible, and of course, to subscribe to not miss the new video that will be out tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow.